All right, y'all, I'm gonna start this video off. It's gonna be called What I Eat in a Day. I know y'all seen a million What I Eat in a Day videos, but y'all ain't seen that many of them from me. And the ones that I did do, I didn't really do justice and show you everything I eat. So we're starting off, we're about to go at the gym. Well, I'm about to go, but it's me by myself. I don't do workout partners, but I'm saying we because I'm taking y'all with me. So I'm gonna show y'all the workout and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm eating before a workout. And after a workout, but start with before. <laughs> um, if you haven't hit that like button already, hit that like button, man. It's free to just smash it real quick. Um, it helps the algorithm, algorithm, or whatever you call it. I don't really never get none of that, so you know, I want to try. To, I want to see that for a change. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Um, I teach fitness if this is your first time rep, um, coming over to Reppin' Time Fitness. It's in the name. Um, yeah, man. Um, but we're going to get on into it. By the way, also, before we get into it, um, I want to tell you a little bit about me. I'll be 38 years old in August, so I'm knocking on 40's door. And I done lost almost 40 pounds this year. And I teach how. Do not starve yourself. I eat way more than dogs. But we ain't going to get into that. We're going to talk about that during the workout. But I'm going to start off with watermelon, a banana, a yogurt for a little bit of protein. I always say, man, get your protein in every chance you can get. You might say that's only 12 grams of protein, but I'm eating again right after I come from the gym. Now, how many calories do I eat of this all together? Um, Pre-workout meal i usually do 500 to a thousand calories depending on how much time i have to sit there and let it digest now 500 calories especially stuff like this i'm ready to go almost immediately a lot of times i would do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with some um peanut butter some light bread sometimes i use pb2 a lot of times when i use pb2 it'll be like the end of the day or whatever if i ain't got that many calories left I usually do real stuff until I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm shooting for 2,200 calories a day. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm on a cut. I'm almost at the end of my cut. Most people at the end of their cut, they be eating like 1,500 calories because they messed up all the way throughout. I'm going to show you what I'm eating. After my workout, like basically when I leave, I'm going to eat some of these blue uh, diamond almond honey roasted almonds. That don't sound good. Ronnie roasted almonds. But what I'm going to do is that container right there, you know what I'm saying? When it get empty, I'm just going to fill it up. And I'll snack on these on the way home. And I'm coming home to eat a meal. You eating already that much in the beginning of the day? Yup. And look at my physique updates. Yeah. Losing weight, bruh. Look at my low weigh in videos. People always skeptical, but I'm trying to give you the game, man. Let's um go ahead and scarf this down. Then we're going to go hit the gym. Uh, by the way, it's like almost 2 o'clock right now in the afternoon. I'm deadlifting today, so I will be able to film because I'm against the wall. Last time I bench pressed, I couldn't film. There's too many people in the gym. Staff, rules. You know what I'm saying? People don't be understanding that, but I'm going to go ahead and hit this real quick because I know y'all tired of looking at my food. Let's go hit these deadlifts. All right, I'm done with that. I'm going to show y'all this little simple trick. It ain't even nothing to really be showing y'all, but at the end of the day, like I said, I empty this out. I don't empty, I don't eat it all up, get all the spoon in there, get all the, because what I'm going to do is these nuts. Let's see if I can pour some of these on camera. I don't know. You're all over the place. Come on, man. Ah. Trying to look all cool, wasting my food. I counter clean, so I'm gonna eat that. Alright, almonds are very high in calories. Um, you do gotta watch a little bit. Um, if you're gonna save calories for later on in the day. So I didn't even fill up the whole thing, but I'm eyeballing it and I'm guesstimating. Estimating and guessing at the same time, by the way. I don't really recommend guessing your calories for everybody. I've been counting calories my whole life, even before I knew how many calories I personally needed. So I think I'm real good at counting calories. I can help you with any tips or pointers and finding your maintenance calories. Eating eat maintenance calories 
and slightly below puts you in a deficit. Also working out and eating maintenance or slightly below puts you in more of a deficit. So, you know what I'm saying? You want me to further elaborate? Comment below. I'll hit you up. You know what I'm saying? In a timely manner. But we about to go hit the gym. I'm going to put this in my cup holder and roll out. You know what I'm saying? Try not to eat it till I'm done. You know, this is my after workout snack before my meal. High volume, huge. You got to see the size of the meal. But let's go hit these deadlifts. Because people that want to see the deadlifts, you know, we go do the deadlifts, dog. All right, y'all. I forgot to tell y'all what I was drinking. My rule for drinks for myself, and I advise for anybody else, low to no calorie drinks, just water or whatever. But this right here is ice. It's about this high. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up to about here with this. That's my little trick of keeping my water cold during workouts, during the day, doing whatever. It stays cold for a long time. A lot of people got these water bottles that cost $100 or whatever. They keep your water cold for five days. Why in the heck do I? I I'm not speaking for nobody else, but why do I need my water in this little bottle for five days to be cold? I wouldn't have my water for five days. That means you ain't drinking your water. You ain't even you ain't staying hydrated, bro. I'm gonna have mine. I'm gonna drink it too, and sip and sip and wonder why. Never mind, man. We ain't gonna get it all that. Let's go to the gym, man. Uh, we at the gym now. Let's go in there and hit these deadlifts. Let me tell you what time it is. It is 2:20. Um, I took my pre-workout, probably shouldn't even be advertising it, they don't mess with me, but uh, this is what I'm taking, and under there I got these nuts for um, after the gym, but we're about to go hit these Dellas, man, immediately, when I left out the car, somebody left a dirty rag out here, it reminds me of something I seen before, it was a rag, it was in the gym, somebody was like, not this rag, but it was a long time ago in the gym, so this old dude walked up to me and said, that's your rag, and I was like, nah, he was like, good, because I needed one. So he grabbed a rag and started wiping on his face. Like, you don't know who rag that was. You don't know what they did with that rag. You about to catch something, just wipe sweat off your face. Also, I wanted to show you all this. I'm showing you all people litter before we go in there. But somebody had the same ideal as me. Fruit is your best pre-workout meal. They threw it on the ground. But is it really littering? I would have threw it in the um, grass or something because this is going to help the earth. Your, your processed foods, your fake foods, you throw the trash on the ground, it's gonna hurt the earth. Good for you, good for the earth, good for everything, man. Let's go in the gym, man. I've been not in the gym for too long. Y'all like, man, you gonna hit the dead lift right now? You scared to hit the lift? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing started. Let me get a locker. What the heck is that? Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these bottom lockers. All the top ones are tuckers. Some people ain't got locks. People leaving stuff in the way. This is my area that I'm going to work out at. People never put their plates away. Um, I got to move that bench. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I'm burnt out before I even start my workout because I got to put away other people's stuff. It takes energy, all right? Um, so let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to move this out the way. I'm going to leave the scene right here. A lot of people, where you go? I'm over there putting the bench over there. Then I'm going to come back over here. You know what I'm saying? There I go. But I'm going to take these clamps off first. 10 pound plate right here. One thing I like about these bumper plates, they're all the same size. They're not the same thickness, but they're the same um, size, like tallness. So whatever you want to call it. Watch my head. Make sure you don't bust your head against the bar. Be aware of your surroundings when you're in the gym. I've seen people, beginners especially, you're in a different environment. You're lost. I have to throw them things down real quick. People putting the things where they don't go. Them clamps don't go right here. The weights go right here. Put the weights back where they go. These go right here. Them go right there. Ah, it gets on my nerves. But, um, yeah, take the bar. I'm going to show y'all something on squat. I'm not squatting today. This is deadlift day. But I'm going to show y'all something. See how tall that is? I got to almost get on. I got to get on my tiptoes. Now, whoever was lifting here might have been taller than me, but I see a lot of people doing that. You want to kind of be able to use your legs to lift it up, then back up. Also, a lot of people squat like that, just a little bit. No, you want to go down. If you're not going down, your squat don't count. If you ain't got the mobility, you need to work on your mobility. A lot of people don't go all the way down because they're going too heavy. That's kind of slanted. I don't like that. Me personally... People say I'm also too careful. I could lift way more weight if I wasn't so careful. Yes, I agree. 
but I'll be probably be my last time lifting. I've seen it happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw 135 pounds on the bar. Um, and warm up. I've already done warm ups, but I'm warming up. Also, you want to warm up. Look at that. You see how that slanted? I don't know what they was doing right there. Maybe they was using that just for safety on their squats. But you do not want to be using awkward things. I'm gonna pull that down here. I'm gonna move this out of my way. Ooh, throwing trash all over the place, man. But um, we'll go ahead and start deadlifting. I'm gonna put this in the area that I need it. It's awkward because it's, it's slanted. You gotta really watch your body. You got one body. This is only lightweight, but at the same time, if you don't care, then your body don't care either. You're going to hurt yourself. This channel is about lifting and building muscle, but it's also about teaching you how not to hurt yourself. Why am I walking around? I'm looking for the dips in the um, platform. You see that? People be just slamming the waist. They pick up three, 400 pounds, the ones who can, and they just let it go. They break in the platform. So I find a good spot. So I do 135 starting off. Now, you can hurt yourself with that, but that's only one plate on each side. You know, uh, but when you get to two plates, okay, you a little more danger. Three plates, a little more danger, a lot more danger, a lot more danger. All every piece of weight that you put on there adds to the danger. You can hurt yourself with 135, but it's not likely. So people that be only lifting this, don't also you want to make sure your bar is straight. You, it doesn't have to be perfect, but straight enough. You want to be in the ballpark. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to some music as I'm warming up. And I'm going to start filming when I get to the heavier weights because of the rules in the gym. I do not want to get caught. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're biased. Here go 315. I already done 135, 225. And with 315, still lightweight. I don't have a belt on. I don't put a belt on until I feel like the weight is kind of heavy. Um, a belt does not save your life. A belt is not really for safety. It adds a little bit of safety for people that get me wrong, but... You want to be lifting from your whole body. Squeeze your glutes. You know, come down. Some people start with their hips higher. Some people start with their hips lower. Everybody's deadlift form is going to look different. You know what I'm saying? You want to pull up. You don't want to overextend at the top. You know what I'm saying? This ain't even supposed to be a video about teaching you how to deadlift. I got videos like that. I'm just telling you what I'm doing right now. It's 315. Oh, that's three plates. I'm going to go for 400, maybe a little more. Um, what was I doing? Five right there. Oh, these 25s right here. I'm not gonna use these, they're the same size. I'm gonna use these right here, and I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna use these 25s. They're both 25 pounds. What's the difference? The difference is right here. Those 25s are the same size as these 45s. These are smaller. I can just slide them right on. You know what I'm saying? Work smarter, not harder. Save some of your energy for the lift. Also, you want to make sure. Whatever you put on that side, you put on this side. The, your bar has to match. A lot of people be telling me, oh, you you show us one side, but you don't show us the other. You might not be lifting it. Dude, I'm not going to lift awkwardly, dog. That's stupid. Also, you know, the belt. People be talking about this. People talk about that. You should have your belt on. I'm like, bruh, shut up. <laughs> I was trying to explain something else right there, but I forgot. I don't, I don't remember. But let's go ahead and lift this weight. <laughs> This is 365, not heavyweight to me, so I'm still not using a belt. I'm not going to use a belt till I get closer to 400, maybe at 400. Um, I'm trying to work my way back to my fives. If I work my way into my mid fours or even 500 while I'm still in a caloric deficit, do a little jig or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> you know, getting my mind right, getting my you know, body right getting ready then i walk up and i focus your um your walk up and your focus is very important where did i go oh i was moving that bench because my approach your approach i had to move that a little bit because i want to come from here while you're coming while you're walking you're building up your strength you're building up your focus you're looking at the bar you're mean mugging it like it's somebody you're about to fight it's supposed to be you against the bar or somebody you're about to dance with you in the club also, I take time between my set. But if you're in a club and you dance with some girl, it's supposed to be you and that girl. You know, everybody else in the club don't exist. So it's supposed to be you and the weight. For some reason, everybody want to, you know what I'm saying, these guys over here was talking, 
And they was trying to get talking to me, but I was like, nah, I had to start mean mugging them. So, you know, they talked like for an hour. And none of my business. Hold on, I didn't show the 365 lift. Hold on, this is 385. I mixed up my scenes. Okay, I did 385. What was I trying to explain? Oh, because I'm going to go heavier than this. My, y'all got to excuse me. I, I got to go to work. I'm kind of in a rush. I got to still cook my food. To show y'all what I'm eating after my workout. Uh, so I put my belt on at 385. Sometimes I put it on at 385. Sometimes I put it on at 405. It's 385 pounds. Um, this ain't really that crazy heavy to me. You know, there's almost no chance of me failing. But there's always a chance. Um, usually like right there. You see I'm getting ready. Nobody talked to me today, but usually right there, somebody will come over. Hey, so you lift. That's the wrong time to talk to somebody. Shut up. <laughs> so I picked it up. Easy weight. 385 pounds. I weigh 172 pounds. But, um, yeah, I mixed my scenes all up. What the heck? Oh, there's 365. I didn't go down. This is supposed to be before the one I just did. I worked my way up. So 365, beltless. Man, I hate when I do that. It's not a big deal. It might not be a big deal to most people that's watching this. But editing it ain't as easy as you think. I, It ain't just point and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Um, My form isn't perfect, but I'm working on it. It's 385 again, and I was signaling that I'm going up. This is 405 pounds which is four plates on each side, so that's eight plates. But in lifting lingo, if you hear somebody say four plates, you know, you would think they talk about 225. No, they're talking about 405 pounds. I left, why? Because I was focusing, man. I was working on my uh, my approach. If I don't feel right, I'm gonna leave it on the floor. I think I, I walked away from the bar like three times and then I went back and did it for an easy rep. A lot of people would be like, oh, you can't do it. Usually when you walk away like that, you turn around, and nobody did it today, but you turn around right into a conversation of somebody who don't even lift, or if they do, they can't even do half of that, and they're coaching you. I'm not even bragging. That's not even really that much weight for a deadlift. For a lot of people, for most people, that is. That's way more than you should be trying, especially if you're a beginner. Do not have that much on the bar, and you just started lifting. You should have one plate on each side. So I picked it up. My problem is I keep second guessing myself um, when I grab the bar. So I have that little awkwardness when I first pick it up. A lot of people will try to coach me and say, oh, I know what problems I have. I'm working my way back up. I used to deadlift 545. Why do I say that? Oh, this is 425. I add 20 more pounds, 10, 10 pounds each side. It's all simple mathematics. But um, yeah, man, what was I trying to explain? I don't remember. Oh! The dead, the deadlift is the safest lift it, it, for a reason. All right, it's a dangerous lift, yeah. But the bench press, the squat, the weight is actually on me. I kind of messed this up. See, look, this is a bench. With a bench, and excuse this camera angle, I don't have a cameraman. But if I'm benching, imagine there's a lot of weight on there. Ain't, ain't no weight on there, but I'm just showing y'all something. The weight is actually on me. If I'm squatting, the weight is actually on me. If I'm deadlifting, the weight is on the floor. If I can't pick it up or if it don't feel like it's going to come up right, I can leave it there. Now, lifting it, yes, it can be the worst lift in the world. But on a bench, on a squat, the weight is actually on me. Literally, physically. The deadlift, the weight is not on me. It's on the floor. I can leave it there. And that's, uh, I think that's exactly what I did right here. That 405 pounds went up pretty easy. Um... 425 that's only 25 well 20 pounds heavier so it should have went up the same way but a lot of times especially on the way working back up if your spidey senses tell you to not lift it you don't lift it i don't care who's saying what if somebody say go for it you step aside and, and be like here you do it <laughs> i'm telling you it be people that don't lift this is not a fail by the way like i said i didn't lift it I barely even try. Look, watch. When I go down. A lot of people, you didn't even try. I'm in my own head right now. Like, I was ready. Then right there, I kind of got unready. 
Then I was going to try it, and I was like, a lot of people, just stand up with it. Yeah, you could. I could have just stood up with it. I could have lifted it. But I'm going to post it anyways. Why? Because I'm trying to teach you something. If you don't feel like it's coming up right, leave it there. Even though that's just 425, I have videos of me doing 545. Go to my old deadlift videos. I'm working my way back up safely. You don't just jump back into it. Also, I got to put the plates back. So I got to put back eight plates. When you lift heavy, that's the worst part about it, putting the weights back. But that's why a lot of people don't do it. But you got to also remember that's part of your workout. That's actually work. That's why a lot of people physiques, don't, they don't get the physique they want to get because they're only doing half of the work. You get to have, you do half things, you're going to get half results. So I'm going to put this back. Eh, eh, eh. I would not walk with that if it's a heavy weight. I've seen people do that with 405. About to tear their spine out. You get one body. One. One body. There's no reset button. This ain't no PlayStation. This ain't no Nintendo game. You get one body. I hope I'm getting through to anybody. If you're a beginner, you need to really listen. I'm telling you. If you're a beginner, allow yourself to be a beginner. Just don't stay a beginner for the rest of your life. You know, I know people that's been in the gym 15 years and still don't have any lifting knowledge at all. None. None whatsoever. So I put my weights back. Be courteous to the next person. I'm going to go ahead and walk through right here. I'm trying to avoid people. So I'm walking. People are like, oh, you tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. Because at the end of the day, I want my workout, man. I don't want to just get caught into a conversation for an hour. This is a dude over there that a long time ago, he tried to shake my hand when I was benching. I'm about to walk past him. I know he's about to talk to me. He tried to shake my hand while I was benching. But I don't feel that much of a way because he got some kind of mental problem. I'm not going to get him on my camera. But, yeah, there I go. I'm talking to him now. God damn. But I, I try to keep it simple. And I was going to go ahead in this area right here do some pull-ups and some sit-ups. Um, and try to get it on camera. Alright, that's all said and done. Time to run. That was fun and blah blah blah. Um, I'm showing y'all this lock for a reason and it's not focusing for some reason. I think I got dust on my I don't care if it's focusing now. Y'all see it. Um this lock, this particular lock, I need a new lock. This is off subject, I know, but this lock, I put the code in right about 15 times in a row. I know my code, I put it in. Man, I had to try about 15 times to get this lock open. It's a Brinks brand of lock. Um, now, with master locks, a lot, of, a lot of these locks are weak. So, I don't know which ones are good or not. A lot of people say a master lock is easy to break in. I don't know. But, I don't care. Most people can't do it, all right? And most people don't know how to do it or whatever you think it is. I think I'm going to switch back to master. Because then I'm going to have to learn a whole new code. Which is only three numbers. But, I got so many numbers. When it comes to lifting, when it comes to counting my calories, when it comes to things at my job, there's numbers, 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 phone numbers that's important. I hate having to, every time I have to remember a new number, even if it's three numbers or not, I oh. <laughs> you know, some people can relate, some people cannot relate. If you can relate, comment below. Yo, I relate, I feel you, bruh. Real recognize real and you looking familiar. But now I'm gonna go show y'all my dinner real quick while we rambling and gambling and scrambling. All right, back to the what I eat in a day. Like I said, I had these almonds for those who are still around, still watching the video, still remember that I said I eat these on the way back home. One great thing about this is it still got like a slight bit of yogurt at the bottom. So it's gonna be like almond yogurt almonds at the bottom. And also the fact that it's hot in this car and these are chocolate covered almonds. Some of the chocolate kind of melt. It, it's like almost like a, I'm gonna see if I can see some of that. It's almost like a candy bar, you know what I'm saying? It's like you eating candy bar almonds, you know what I'm saying? Hershey's almonds, whatever. It's, it's like that, without actually having the whole candy bar. So yeah, I'm just giving pro tips, man. All water, remember I told y'all about the water and the ice? It's still got a huge chunk of ice in there. Yes, it melted a little bit, but the water is extra super cold. And it's hours later. Let me show y'all what time it is. We're going to start the car. We're going to go home. I got to show y'all my dinner. Um, Well, my lunch. So my breakfast is before the workout. My snack is right here, these nuts. Um, And my lunch is going to be then. And then my dinner is going to be after work. Roll these windows down, man. All of them. 
open my sunroof. I'm in the shade. I probably. All right, y'all. Here's the ingredients to my meal. Um, I want to apologize that I don't really have time to like cook the meal. I'm gonna cook it, but I don't have time to like cook and explain the things. I gotta go to work, so you know what I'm saying. Just like anybody's job, I gotta be on time or I'm in trouble. So I'm gonna just tell you real quick. I'll run through the ingredients. Um, 93.7 lean ground beef, high in protein, lower in fats, lower in overall calories. Same thing with this um fat-free cheddar cheese. This this is basically pure protein at the end of the day. Low, no fat, low carbs. You're looking for fat, carbs, protein when you, look, when you talk about calories. Also fiber, ain't no fiber in there though. But fiber has like a half of what um the calories that um carbs and protein will have. Carbs and protein both have four calories per gram. I hope I'm not messing up because I'm going fast, but nine calories per gram of um when you do fat, but there's no fat, no barely any carbs. So that's basically pure protein. Um, also, I'm going to have Bean Melody, have your fiber, have your, you know what I'm saying, spinach, very great. Or sometimes I'm going to do spring mix. And I got frozen veggies, mustard, low to no calories. Same thing with the hot sauce, seasoning salt. Yes, sodium, but at the end of the day, sodium is not your enemy. Drink enough water and it'll flush out. So, ah, this sucks, man. But I hope this is still good in some kind of way, but... Watch my cooking videos. I show y'all them. I, I done done this meal a million times. So, you know what I'm saying? Just watch Rapid Time Fitness, high volume cooking or high volume eating, high volume diet. Um, How to do this, how to do that. Comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm going to make it up on my next video. Next video going to be bomb. Physique update is coming soon. I might piece together some. Ah, should I? I'm not, I'm not going to keep showing y'all the same physique. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> Here's my physique from a week, almost two weeks ago. It's actually a lot better now. Every week is getting leaner and leaner. So, you know, the lower abs are coming in. So, on this is what I'm going to show y'all. The lower abs went all the way in. I still got a little bit of body fat to lose, especially in that video. But even now, a little bit. But it's getting less and less every week as I eat high-volume diet. Stay tuned to Reppin' Time Fitness. If you already ain't ready, comment, like, subscribe, share. Holler back at your boy. Look at his physique and then do that. Then peace. All right, real quick, because I got to hop in the shower. So on the physique you're about to see, remind you, this is not the final product. And this was actually almost two weeks ago. I look a lot better than this now. But I want to show y'all what it looked like. That everything's coming in. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to, This physique is going to be better than my last year physique. But those physiques are still up for those who want to see what I look like last year. Just scroll through my videos, man. Scroll through my summer shredding videos from last year. So this right here is summer shredding, full day of eating, um, high volume diet, which I couldn't show y'all the whole thing like I wanted to. My bad, but yeah, man. Um, but yeah, man. Keep watching. But comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm about to edit. I'm about to um, do all the things I need to do. Peace.
do I do for protein? Good question. I got fish. I got beef. I got chicken. I got eggs. Sometimes I do turkey. I don't got none right now, but I'm going to let that thaw. That's frozen. Um, yeah, man, we probably going to eat that tomorrow. I'm going to cook some of this tonight after my uh, workout. Uh, eggs. I mix it up. There's no specific thing and when and when. But I count my calories. I make sure I count my protein. I let my fats and carbs fall where they fall. I'm not a bodybuilder. I will be more specific if I was a bodybuilder. But I'm an everyday dude, man. I'm almost 40 years old. I'll be 38 in August. Close to 40. I look better than most people that's 32, 25, all of that. Why? Because I track things. Track my calories. Calories in versus calories out.